State. And when Evashevsky got there, the day he took the job, a journalist asked him the question, do you think you can ever be successful at Iowa? Evashevsky snapped back, why the heck do you think I took the job? Except heck wasn't exactly the word he used, but this is a family program. Successful they were, culminating in a magical season 50 years ago. Juan Gonzalez takes us back. There has always been a passion for football in the Hawkeye State and one of the most memorable times in Iowa football history was the University of Iowa's class of 1958 football team that tied for the national championship with LSU and won the famous Pasadena Rose Bowl. The person in charge of the team that year was Coach Forrest Evashevsky. What mostly led to a successful season was Coach Evashevsky's explosive offense he created called the Wing T Offense. This offense was put into play in 1956 but by 1958 the players were experts at it causing them to lead the Big Ten in rushing yards and be second in passing yards. Nationally, they were second in passing yards and seventh in rushing yards per carry. The offense was led by quarterback Randy Duncan. Randy Duncan was also the 1958 runner-up for the Heisman Trophy. The first key game of the season leading to Iowa's national championship was the home opener against number six TCU, where the unranked Hawkeyes dominated the game by winning 17-0 and pumping up to number 8 on the AP poll. This game came to a surprise since the unranked Iowa Hawkeyes started off the season beating a ranked team. Excitement grew all over campus. The following week, they played Air Force who surprisingly tied the Hawkeyes 13-13. By the end of the season, Air Force would end up being ranked number 6. The Hawkeyes made up for the tie by beating Indiana 34-13 the following week in the third game of the season. The next big game of the season, though, came the following week against number 4 Wisconsin. Wisconsin was Iowa's first big test in the Big Ten. The number 4 Badgers hosted the Hawkeyes on October 18th. Iowa had not won in Madison since 1946. Iowa had a little trouble with Wisconsin winning with a score of 20-9, the Badgers' only Big Ten loss of the season. The game would end up deciding the Big Ten championship as Iowa finished 5-1 in the Big Ten and Wisconsin finished 5-1-1. Iowa jumped to number 7 in the AP polls and the students in town began celebrating knowing well they were about to witness a great historic season. After beating Wisconsin, Iowa jumped in a row in the Big Ten for the next few weeks, defeating a tough opponent in number 8 Northwestern 26-20 in Iowa City, unranked Michigan the following week in Ann Arbor, Michigan 37-14 and unranked Minnesota after that. 28-6 in Minnesota. In those years, the only team that went to a bowl game was the champion of the conference and the Hawkeyes outright won the Big Ten Championship beating Minnesota 28-6 on November 8, 1958. At this time, students and the university began preparing for a Rose Bowl game and the Daily Iowa began advertising the Rose Bowl in Iowa City, bringing great excitement to the faculty and students. The first loss of the season came when Iowa hosted number 6 Ohio State on November 6. Despite their efforts, Iowa fell to Ohio State 38-28. It was again the Hawkeyes' only loss of the season, but they had already clinched the Big Ten Championship. Iowa sank to number 6 in the November 17 and 18 AP polls. Although having just suffered the first loss of the season, Iowa was still preparing for a Rose Bowl game and the SUI student council at the university even began advertising a Rose Bowl tour in Pasadena, California for only $176. For the final game of the season, Iowa beat number 15 Notre Dame 31-21 in Iowa City, bringing the Hawks to an AP ranking of number 2, a 7-1-1 record and a for sure ticket to the Rose Bowl game on January 1st, 1959. When the day of the Rose Bowl finally arrived, it would end up being number 16 California versus number 2 Iowa, with Iowa being favorited by 18.5 points to win. 
The game would feature a set of all-star quarterbacks for Iowa, Randy Duncan, the Heisman Trophy runner-up, and for California, Joe Cab, who would later in his career play for the Minnesota Vikings. When the game came around, Iowa halfback Bob Jeter pulled off 194 yards rushing on only 9 carries, causing him to lead Iowa towards defeating California 38-12 and being crowned the 1959 Rose Bowl champion. Bob Jeter after the game was named the most valuable player. Iowa was later named the 1958 College Football National Champions by the team being awarded the 1958 Grantland Rice Award. The team though wasn't the only national champions as the Hawkeyes finished number 2 in the AP and UPI polls behind LSU who at the time was also crowned the national champions. Although the undefeated Tigers won their bowl game also, they didn't do so as impressively as the Iowa Hawkeyes and at the end of the season, Iowa had beaten number 7 Wisconsin, number 10 TCU, number 16 California, and number 17 Notre Dame while tying number 6 Air Force and losing to number 8 Ohio State. LSU had only managed two wins against ranked opponents, number 11 Ole Miss and number 14 Florida. Still, the committee called a tie for the national championship naming Iowa the integrated national champions since Iowa had players with different ethnicities on the team and LSU the white only national champions. The final AP ranking is the highest in school history. Even though the title was shared, it was still one of the greatest and most historic seasons in Iowa football history. It featured legendary coach Eliszewski, amazing quarterback Randy Duncan, and stud halfback and Bob Jeter. This has also been the Hawkeyes' only football national title in school history.